Alright guys, I had two projects to shoot today. Um, I'm pretty much done, but I still have a whole battery left. So rather than going home, uploading that footage and then going back out, um, I'm gonna take this time and this opportunity to get some deliberate practice in by shooting a couple of missions for drone base. For those of you who don't know what drone base is, it's essentially a platform where drone operators can go on, check out a map of their local area and see what missions are available to fly. The most common missions that they have on there are panel missions. The reason it's called a panel mission is because essentially the shot list consists of two 360 degree rotations at a 45 degree angle and the horizon, uh, thereby creating a panoramic view. It also includes uh, five to six shots of the house or property at roof level. Um, those are what they call the beauty shots and uh, we'll go over those right now. Okay, so assuming you've already done a thorough and proper pre-flight inspection, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the camera settings are set to manual. Then you're going to climb to an altitude of 100 feet and tilt the camera 45 degrees. Then you want to fly to a position where the subject property is in the center of your frame and hover. At this point, you want to adjust your ISO and or shutter speeds so that the exposure is properly set. This is to ensure that the exposure values remain consistent throughout the entire shoot. The first shot that you're going to get is going to be straight down. Tilt the camera so that you take a shot straight down. Tilt the camera back up to that 45 degree angle and begin your first 360 degree rotation. Ensure that each shot overlaps one another. Next, tilt the camera up to zero degrees, ensuring the horizon is in the center of your frame, and begin your second 360 degree rotation. Remember to overlap your photos. The next five shots are the beauty shots. These are going to be at your discretion and they're typically shot at roof level. All right, now that we got the last shot done, it's time to go ahead and upload this footage to DroneBase's servers, where they will take all of the images and stitch them together, thereby creating the pano. So that's how to shoot a DroneBase pano mission. Pretty simple, right? Now don't worry if you're not as quick. It's not about quickness, it's about getting the right shot and getting it done properly. The more and more you fly these, the easier they become because the more familiar you are with the shot list. So I've been flying these for quite a while. I typically fly these in between projects or at the end of the night just to deplete my batteries. But what do you guys think? Was this helpful to you? Make sure you leave a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Praise and glory to the most high and I will see you guys later. Fly safe, peace out.